Hi, my name is David Lance. You know, back when my children were teenagers, we watched a lot of movies together. I discovered that when we were explaining something to each other, we would often start sentences with the phrase, you know, um, I think it's a lot like that scene from the movie and then mention whatever the movie was. And so in 2005, I started to write a monthly newsletter that I call Conversations with the Culture. Using movies to introduce uh, a concept, I then transitioned to a scripture verse or story to, from the Bible to then talk about the truth of the scriptures. Over the years, I thought about how Paul might have done the same thing in his time, except he, of course, would not have used movies to, to do that. He'd have used the stories that people were familiar with as displayed in the constellations of the night sky to help them explain the real meaning of the zodiac. In fact, that's the name of a book by the late uh, Dr. G. James Kennedy in which he explains that the real meaning of the Zodiac was to reveal God's plan of salvation through Jesus Christ. Now, think of the constellations Hercules and Draco that appear just above the horizon in the northern part of the night sky. Now, at certain times during the year, the son of Zeus's foot, that would be the, the son of God, by the way, in Greek mythology, rests above the head of Draco the snake. Wouldn't it be interesting if that is the image that Paul had in mind when he wrote in Romans 16.20 that, quote, the God of peace will soon crush, crush Satan under your feet. You know, in our day, we don't spend much time anymore looking up into the night sky, but we do go to movies. Take the movie I Am Legend. In that movie, a woman by the name of Anna says, quote, the world is quieter now. We just have to listen. If we listen, we can hear God's plan. I'd like to invite you to come and see how we can use movies to bridge the gap between current events today and God's ancient truth of the scriptures. Over the years, I've easily used over 150 movies and TV shows to do just that. Movies like The Blues Brothers, The Matrix, Schindler's, Schindler's List, TV shows like The X-Files, The Last Ship, and Pinky and the Brain, and books made into movies like The Maze Runner, The Hunger Games, and A Wrinkle in Time, all in an attempt to bring the Word of God alive for a 21st century generation that is hungry for spiritual truth but doesn't know quite how to find it. So, take a look at what I have to offer. Kick the tires. Perhaps you'll find my podcast, Discovering Truth at the Movies, to be a worthwhile resource that you can share uh, with your church's youth and uh, young adult ministries. If you would like to subscribe to my uh, video podcast, then complete the email registration form, and I'll send you my monthly uh, newsletter as well, Conversations with the Culture. It's free, by the way, and, and I'll also let you know how you can get access to anthologies of past uh, issues. Also, as a thank you gift for signing up, I'll provide you with access to my first anthology, Discovering Godly Leadership at the Movies. You know, it's a lot like that scene from the movie The Matrix. You know, that's the one where Morpheus offers a Neo a choice. He says to Neo, you can take the blue pill and the story ends. You uh, wake up in your bed and believe what you want to believe. But if you take the red pill, then you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, however, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Well, I hope you'll enjoy uh, my podcast, Discovering Truth at the Movies.